Hey everybody, this is your boy, the host with the most, but humble, and I do mean humble, D Nostranavis, aka Derek, and I'm here, of course, on a Friday to give you the hungry, happy, healthy people here at the WrestleCram. Of course, this is Axe WrestleCram. Yeah, he's consistent at least with the with the Axel WrestleCram. <laughs> if you're watching it today, you're watching it tomorrow, you're watching it next week. I truly do thank you from the bottom of my heart to the depths, the depths of my loins. I truly do thank you without you guys. Without you guys, it truly wouldn't be me. I'm humbled eyes each and every single time I'm allowed to do this. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this. Thank you so much for watching the show about that you know so no, if you don't know anything about the show you know anything about the show uh, i do post a um a feed out on every sunday every sunday i send a feed out uh, for you guys to get your questions out and you know uh we'll answer them here that's usually how x wrestle cram usually works you guys um you go, you ask questions, and your boy D Notion, obviously, usually, uh, you know, answer those questions. Uh, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Also, also do not forget to uh, go to the information tab. There you will see you will see pretty much every single thing that your boy D Notion is uh, in. You know, uh, any social media sites that your boy is over there. Um, I'm on the TikToks. I'm on X. Um, I'm on the uh, what? The uh, Facebook group page. I have a, my own Facebook group page. So you can go check me out over there as well. Uh, Instagram, you know, you name it, I'm there. So, um, uh, I mean, what what more? What more can I say? Is there anything else? Anything else? Uh, uh, you know, once again, like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. We're on the road to, I think, 300 subs. So, you know, uh, if you know anybody, you know, that, uh, you know, uh, likes wrestling and want to get a homegrown talent uh, up to uh, monetization mode, uh, go and uh, get your boy name out there or whatnot. You know, you can always do that. That does help, and I do thank y'all for uh, that. So, uh, without further ado, uh, let's get on to the questions. we got some really good questions, uh, but let's get into some questions right now. Uh, we're going to start off with a Black Star Boy. How we doing, Black Star Boy? Uh, do you honestly think the Young Bucks are truly the cancer of AEW? Um, that is a great question. That is a great question because I do crap on the elite a lot. And I will honestly say this. I'm going to try to keep, you know, Kenny Omega out of this because I truly think that he is not um, a lot of what to do with the situations uh, with AEW. But I will say this. Uh, I don't think that uh, the Young Bucks are a cancer to AEW. I think there's a lot of other things uh, that for the Young Bucks other than them being the can uh, being a cancer to uh, AEW. But I will say this: I honestly will say this. I do think that they do pay up uh, 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 or play a certain uh, um, uh, situation that is uh, messing a lot of the uh, um, the show up or whatnot. I will say that. Um, if you don't listen to Jim Carnett, I, um, I implore you to go check out some of the stuff that he talks about because a lot of the stuff that he's talking about is just facts. It's just facts. He speaks facts a lot. And... Uh, with the Young Bucks, you know, they do have their friends or whatnot. And uh, they have a ton of friends. Um, and one of their friends is Jack Perry. Uh, and, you know, I truly think that if you are not friends, personal friends of the Young Bucks, then, you know, there's a situation. Um, and once again, I think CM Punk tried his damnness to get everything uh, or try to coexist with the Young Bucks, but just it's so many things that they are doing behind the scenes um, that's just, it's it's just baffling to me. It's just baffling to me. They should be uh, at least over, you know, a million uh, of views on AEW. Like, that's just, I, the product alone should have at least a million views but they just don't. I mean, what is the what is the situation? Uh, why 
they are consistently not uh, getting the million plus views. I mean, it's just it's 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 truly a situation uh, with this. But uh, I truly think that they are not the the end all be all on why AEW is just not the best product. Um, you know, and I can name you know just Tony Khan um, not getting off of Twitter is one of them, you know, um, I mean, the, the number one thing is just bad booking, bad booking, bad creative uh, choices, uh, bad progressive storylines, I mean, those are like <clears throat> the biggest ones I can truly think of uh, that is probably killing um, the young, uh, I mean, the AEW product altogether, but, you know, once again, they are probably a very small percent, very small percent of them, you know, being uh, the situation uh, that they are. Do I think they're cancers? No, I don't. But I do think they play a, a, pivotal, a, a pivotal role in uh, a lot of what's going on and why the product is as stale as, as it is. No, but thank you. Thank you so much uh, for that question. Very long question. I might uh, I might copy and paste that one. Uh, but that's a great question. Great question. Thank you so much for that question. Uh, next question. Next question is going to be Dragon Hunter XD. Uh, on from that to a new one. <laughs> so uh, should CM Punk go into impact since WWE isn't interested at the moment? Another good question. Good question. Um, I would say no. I would say no. As a matter of fact, I will even say this. I don't think Impact even has the money to get uh, Phil Brooks over to Impact. Uh, I mean, CM Punk is going to have to get a significant uh, a pay reduction uh, for him to go to uh, Impact. I think they were paying him like $3 million dollars. Um, just to be on the show. So the only person that I can possibly think of that can, I mean, well, the only person I know that can match that and probably give him more money would be the people that said no, which is a WWE. Um, the reason why is not because of the pay raise. I mean, the, the pay reduction. The reason why I think CM Punk should not go to Impact is because I think that the WWE uh, uh, situation is day by day, month by month basis. I truly think that WWE is going to come and talk to uh, Phil Brooks pretty soon. This is my prediction. And I think he may be there within a year or so. I think they want everything to kind of uh, fizzle out a little bit. And I think that he's going to come back. I truly think that him, Triple H, uh, Nick Khan, and uh, Vince McMahon, I think they are trying to bury that hatchet. I don't think uh, even Vince McMahon had an issue with CM Punk. So I truly think that um, this uh, may just fizzle out. Give it about a year, um, you know, probably less than a year. I think that CM Punk will probably be on WWE TV uh, sooner than later. I will say that. I think that's what's going to happen. Uh, but uh, I do thank you for that question. Great question. Great question. Uh the Dragon Hunter XD. I have another question that's going to be from Mitch Does It. How we doing, Mitch? How we doing? Uh, do you think Logan Paul will defeat Rey Mysterio for the United States Championship at Crown Jewel? Not only do I think that uh, Logan Paul will beat Rey Mysterio for the, uh, uh, the United States title, I think he's going to win clean. And I think that's going to uh, uh, give Logan Paul some more time to be on the TV. I think that his first belt should be a singles belt. I truly think he shouldn't uh, tag with anybody. I think him alone should be that person to take that title off of him. Um, that's going to lead, hopefully, into the destruction of the friendship between uh, Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio, leading for Santos to get his own push I think that, you know, uh, and I'm not trying to crap on Rey Mysterio because I truly think Rey Mysterio is a legend. He is a, I mean, he's a Hall of Famer through and through. No answer for buts about it. It's just that when he, you know, gets with other people, it kind of dims their, it kind of dims their star a little bit. 
and it gives, you know, Rey Mysterio a higher trajectory, just like with his son, Dominic. I mean, that was the best thing that he has ever done was get away from Dominic. Now, Dominic is probably one of the hottest things on NXT and on uh, the uh, Raw brand. So I think he's doing a great job with that. So I think that Ray needs to move around uh, from uh, Santos Escobar and have, and have Santos Escobar be his own person. That's my suggestion. But I truly think that uh, Logan Paul will beat uh, Rey Mysterio. I think it's going to be a great match. But I truly think that he needs that belt more than Rey Mysterio ever needed that belt. I do thank you for that question. Uh, great question. Great question. I'm, I might pin that one as well. Great, great, great question. Um, next question, Dragon Hunter XD. Ric Flair wants to wants the next Charlotte Flair title win to be at a great premium live event. Uh, the show that she was, uh, the show she was surprised, uh, surpassed her father in titles. Uh, in title range, do you agree? So the question uh, is kind of a little fuzzy or whatnot, but he's asking uh, Ric Flair wants a Charlotte to win and surpass her father, of course, uh, in title range to be at a really great premium premium live event. Uh, do I agree? I agree a hundred percent. I most definitely agree with that one hundred percent. Uh, I mean, the only place that I can probably think of is doing this would be at WrestleMania 40, where she should surpass her father. Now, once again, who should she face and what title should she go for? I truly think she should go for the world title. I truly think that it should be a match between her and, of course, the one of the greatest uh, uh, women's wrestlers as of right now in Rhea Ripley. That would be a great match. I mean, Rhea took it off of Charlotte on WrestleMania 39. She's had that belt for almost a year or probably over a year now. And it will be a, a great courtesy for Charlotte to take that belt right off of uh, Rhea Ripley. I mean, it will be a great thing. I mean, uh, the only stage it should be it uh, should be WrestleMania. And I think it should be WrestleMania. And I think the opponent should be Rhea Ripley. Uh, thank you so much for that question. Great question. Great question. Southern Bell. How we doing, Southern Bell? Southern Bell has the next question. Uh, what should Damien, when should Damien Priest cash in the Money in the Bank briefcase? Well, I know when he should have did it. He should have did it at Fastlane after a gruesome, gruesome match with Shinsuke Nakamura at the last man standing. That would have been the perfect uh, place to do it. Um, I mean, and I stand by that. I truly stand by that. Now, where should he go now? What would be the next step? I mean, the only thing that I can think of, I'm going to say it again, WrestleMania 40. I mean, uh, Seth Rollins did it once. Let's see if Damian Priest can do it. Do it right after the match because we know for a fact that, um, you know, that match is not going to be on night two. Uh, should be probably main eventing night one. So I do see Damian Priest, you know, after Seth uh, has a really, really long uh, reign with this. Uh, I mean, I mean, <laughs> the storyline is that, you know, Seth's body is literally... It's literally giving out on him. His back is killing him. He has been uh, a really great champion, but he is running through. He's running into a brick wall. I mean, the best bet would be for him to do it right after a match that he has been through. And once again, that would be, that'd have been fast lane. That would have been fast lane. It would have been a great. It would have been a great uh, thing for Damian Priest to win that bad boy. And on top of that, probably have a Damian Priest. Versus Finn Balor at WrestleMania. Wrestle, uh, I mean, uh, Damian Priest versus Seth Rollins trying to get back his belt. That would have been a great situation with this. But we didn't get that. So, the next one is, I think it's Crown Jewel. Let's get him over there at Crown Jewel. It is time for Damian Priest to cash in that uh, that briefcase. It is time. I mean, I mean, come on. What more can we say? He, I think, will be a really great world champion. We just have to have him cash it in. But other than that, thank you so much for that question. Great question. Great question. Uh, good questions all around. I mean, goodness gracious. What's going on? 
Is it good question day to day? But anyway, uh, let's get on. Uh, we have another Mitch. Mitch does it. Mitch does it. How we doing, Mitch? Um, if Nick Aldis wrestled again, who uh, who should be his next opponent? Um, I would like to see Adam Pierce. Adam Pierce is on the Raw side, and uh, Nick Aldis is on the SmackDown side. Have two of them uh, take off their suits and put on some ring gear for uh, Smack uh, for Survivor Series. It'd be a great thing. I mean, I think Nick Nick Aldis does not want to wrestle again. Um, not full time per se, but I will say that that would be a great situation to have, you know, both general managers uh, face off at uh, and do like a brand versus brand like they used to do uh, back, I think, four years ago, four or five years ago before war games happened. So, I mean, it'll be a, I think it'll be a great addition if uh, they, the two general managers who I truly think still have it well, wrestle one another. I think it'll be a pretty, pretty decent match. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much for that question, uh, Mitch Does it? Let's get on to the next one. That one's going to be uh, Mr. Greenhead. <coughs> uh, next uh, next question, I'm sorry. Next question will be Mr. Greenhead. How you doing, um, Mr. Greenhead? Uh, do you think that the limited series destroyed the Marvel Universe? Um, I will say this. I will say this. I will say yes and no. And the reason why I would say yes and no is because some of those really great, like Loki season one introduced us to the main baddie of this phase, which I don't even know which phase this is. Is it phase five? It gave us the next baddie, which is Kane the Conqueror, who's a really great uh, 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 villain that they should have put on there. I mean, I think the next baddie should be Doctor Doom. The big baddie should be Doctor Doom. But the next, this baddie right here is, you know, uh, Kane the Conqueror. Great uh, uh, pick for the next baddie, once again. Um, now, uh, when we got that one, we we, we we were introduced to him and whatnot. And then we got, like, you know, another fun fun one, which was uh, the Winter, uh, Winter Soldier and um, the new Captain America, which was uh, Sam Wilson. Great. It was, a, when I tell you that show, second best show that they did. Okay? Loved it. Loved it. But that had nothing to do with what was going on in the new phase. After that, we had a Christmas special uh, series with Hawkeye. Had nothing to do with the new phase. Uh, we got the Hawk Girl stuff. I don't think that had nothing to do. I mean, uh, uh, She-Hulk. Nothing to do with the, the next phase. Like, a lot of this stuff had nothing to do with the phase itself. So it made no sense. Uh, Moon Knight. Moon Knight was really good. I promise you, if you have not seen Moon Knight, go and check out Moon Knight. Because I didn't even know who Moon Knight was. Go check it out. But once again, Moon Knight had nothing to do with the phase itself. You had to start watching the movies, which was um, uh, the Quantum. Quantum, uh, uh, the, what was that? Ant-Man? Ant-Man? Um, that was really good, but that was a different variant of, 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 of Kane the Conqueror. But I mean, you know, it's just, I mean, it, it didn't get me to the point of like saying... Why isn't Kane the Conqueror like touching everything? Because he says he has so many variants. He should have been touching ev to me. He should have been touching every single movie, every single show. He should have been touching everything, but we didn't get that. We didn't get that at all. And that really was the troubling part about it. So, but I mean, we got some really good uh introductions. We got uh, Moon Knight that's going to be hopefully in uh, some movies. Also, we have uh, Daredevil who was a part of She-Hulk. Uh, he's going to, I think he's going to get his own movie. Um, Captain, The new Captain America will get his own movie, I think. So, um, you know, we got a lot of stuff that's introducing uh, new characters to bring into the new uh, Avengers movie. But once again, it was like, mm, really? You know, it was like, you know, some of the movies made, I mean, some of the, the limited series made no sense at all. But so it's half, it's, to me, it's kind of half and half. 
Uh, but thank you so much for that question. I think that was a I think that was a pretty good question. Um, Black Star Boy, Black Star Boy, how you doing, Black Star Boy? What is the percentage of LA Knight winning against Roman Reigns? <laughs> um, zero, uh, absolutely zero. Even if Roman Reigns is injured in the match itself, <laughs> Roman is not giving up that title. Anytime soon. LA Knight is the hottest thing as of right now, but Roman has been the hottest thing for the last three uh for the last three years. So uh yeah, I'm sweating like a pig out here. But once again, uh I, I promise you I don't see LA Knight winning that title. Now I do see him winning a title, but not Roman's Reigns title anytime soon. <laughs> Thank you so much for that question. I know it was a quick one, but yeah, I mean just no. Absolutely no. Uh, next question. I have another question from uh, Black Star Boy. How are we doing once again, Black Star Boy? Uh, do you truly think that Drew McIntyre will take the title off of Seth Rollins? Uh, once again, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, they are still in negotiations with Drew McIntyre, and I truly think that that's not going to happen, um, being that they're in negotiations with that uh, contract. So I just think it's going to be another uh, heel that Seth Rollins beats, um, and that's going to be the end of that. I mean, once again, I would love to see uh, Damian Priest ta uh, put in, a, a, you know, a, a cash that money in the bank briefcase in, uh, after the match, because I know this match is going to be brutal. It's going to be a great match. But once again, I truly think that Seth is going to come back on top. Uh, yeah, so, uh, I, yeah, no go with that one. I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, thank you so much for that question, Black Star Boy. Thank you so much for that question. Another question that's going to be Mitch does it. How we doing, Mitch? Uh, he's saying that he is buzzed, uh, bro. <laughs> I'm drinking this rum and Sprite. What is your favorite adult uh, beverage to drink? Uh, believe it or not, believe it or not, at the age of 37, I have never had any type of, 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 of beer or alcohol. So I couldn't tell you, <laughs> I couldn't tell you what, what they taste like. I, I couldn't tell you. Um, my favorite uh, drink as of right now is some seltzer uh, water, uh, anything, uh, anything flavored from, um, uh, from liquid death, go check out liquid death. Uh, I, I mean, I buy them in the, in the bulk, you know, so that's the only thing I probably drink as of right now. I rarely drink a lot of sodas anymore, uh, because, you know, I'm, you know, trying to slim down and bulk up. So, you know, uh, so I rarely drink sodas, anything and anything like that. So if I am drinking anything, it will be like a seltzer water, uh, flavored seltzer water. That would be the thing that I would usually drink. But um, thank you so much, and uh, make sure you're not uh, you're not drinking and driving. Make sure you're at the house. But uh, thank you so much uh, for that question. Next question is going to be from Laurel. How we doing, Laurel? Uh, do you think uh, do you think the uh, Brian Pillman? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me reread that. Uh, <laughs> I have a, we, hey, hey, we, we, we work, we, we, we build it as we go. We build it as we go. We, we, we're moving and we're building. Okay. Uh, so, um, uh, Laurel, Laurel is the next question. How are we doing, Laurel? Uh, what do you think of the Brian Pillman new repackage video on NXT? I love it. I love it times 12. We need more heels. There's a lot of faces on NXT, so we need more heels. And I think Brian Pillman Jr. will be, well, it's not even his name anymore. Uh, I forgot his name. It's, uh, it's uh, something King. I forgot. But I, I truly love the story uh, with Brian Pillman saying that, you know, he never really knew his father. He was raised by his stepfather. And he wants to uh, go his own route by himself. So he's getting rid of the whole Brian Pillman uh, Jr. angle. I love it. I mean, I truly think that this is going to help not only uh, Brian Pillman, but I truly think this is going to help NXT uh, because, um, remember, uh, they get rid of all the really good people at the beginning of the year so or during the draft. So that's going to help him uh, his trajectory grow, grow, grow. I really like it. I 
love the character. It's a great character. So I want to see what more, uh, what more we can get from this situation. And I truly hate that AEW just could not uh, succeed. I just hate that they they did they couldn't do it. And I think that WWE is going to do a great job. Thank you so much for that question, Laurel. Uh, but with that, I have another question from Laurel. How are we doing? How are we doing? Um, how do you feel about, um, oh, prancing Jade Cargill around on all three brands uh, with her not uh, wrestling at the moment? I think it's one of the greatest things of all time. I mean, I would love for people to just see her. Or whatnot, you know, have her uh, the number one uh, the agent, free agent in the WWE. I think that's a great thing. I truly think that you know, uh, prancing her around, introducing her, introducing her to all of the champions, all of the the high level wrestlers there. I mean, what more? The main eventers. I mean, what more can you say? This is the most coolest thing I've ever seen. Uh, and I truly am eating it up like it's just a great cereal. I'm so serious. It's just that good. Just eat it up. Just eat it up. Just love it. <laughs> I'm loving every second of it. So let's keep this going. Yes, let's keep it going, you guys. Uh, great question. Thank you so much uh, for that question. Uh, after that, I have uh, Southern Bell again. How are we doing, Southern Bell? Uh, a story is out with Big E in close uh, is close to 100%. Uh, should he return as a wrestler to the WWE? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no to that. I mean, uh, I think Big E has already voiced himself. As a matter of fact, I did uh, talk about that in one of my um, <clears throat> news uh, sessions or whatnot, uh, one of the Dirt Sheet Roundups. I truly think that he probably is done uh, with the wrestling aspect of it, but I truly think that he is uh, going to probably be a great commentator. I think he'll be a great commentator. I think he'll be, um, you know, behind the scenes doing really great work, uh, just, you know, being him. His personality alone is just really, really good. I mean, it's just, it speaks volumes on how big Big E truly is. Um, so I would love to see Big E, you know, behind the desk, um, you know, on SmackDown, you know, I mean, you know, uh, uh, Michael Cole is, you know, I think he's on his last leg. He said he, I think he wants to retire and when he wants to retire, he wants somebody big there, somebody that can feel Michael Cole's shoes because Michael Cole is one of the greatest uh, commentators uh, out there. I mean, in all of wrestling, I will give him his flowers right now because I truly think that he is a great commentator. So give Big E the shot. I promise you, I think he would probably hit it out of the park. So yeah, no go. I, I, I truly just wouldn't want him to get back in that ring. I, I mean, just... That's just my personal opinion. Uh, but I do thank you for that question. I think that was a great question. Uh, one more question from Southern Bell. How are we doing once again, Southern Bell? Uh, do you think the Judgment Day winning the tag team titles back are good or is a good thing? Yes, I truly do because I don't think Cody Rhodes uh, should uh, be having you know an anchor with the tag team titles. I, I just don't think that that should happen. Um, I mean, Jay Uso, I think that he deserves a singles push. Keyword, singles push. Yes, he deserves the single push. He deserves to be a world champion. Jay uh, is, is, uh, is the better out of the two Usos. Jimmy is really good as well, hands down. He's really good. I think he deserves a title run as well. But right now, I think it should be main event Jay that should be Get some type of singles push. This is my opinion. And, and once again, I truly think that Cody Rhodes is going to uh, head to SmackDown eventually and go against the Tribal Chief once again. But they still need star power in uh, SmackDown as well. So that's the reason, another reason why I think that um, they had to get rid of those titles uh, as soon as possible. I think Judgment Day, um, and with which another opinion of mine, 
need those titles more than Jay and and uh and, and Cody Rhodes. That's just my opinion. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, I think that was one of the be better things for um for Damian Priest and Finn Balor to have those titles. That's just, I mean, just straight to the point. Uh, but I do thank you for that question. Great question. Thank you so much for that question. Uh, Dragon Hunter XD. How we doing, Dragon Hunter? How we doing, Dragon Hunter? Uh, what do you think about the situation in Israel uh, in the Gaza Strip? Okay, though. Oh, my goodness. Okay, though. So, uh, I will say this. I will say this. Um, I love my country. I love the United States and whatnot. Am I the most patriotic person? No, I am not the most patriotic person, nor am I individually, uh, uh, supports Israel or whatnot. I will say that, um, uh, you know, America, you know, they are a, uh, Israel and America, uh, have a really close, uh, uh um, uh, ally, they're very close allies in the Middle East. Um, I once again, I do not support Israel. I support uh, the the Israelis or whatnot, and I and I, I I I wish them all the love. You know, just like I don't support you know the Gaza or you know Palestine, the Palestinians. I do not. I mean, no, or Palestine, Palestine, not not the Palestinians. I do support the Palestinians. Uh, I do not support Hamas. I do not support that uh, the, the Hamas side of uh, Palestine or the Gaza Strip. Now, uh, this is what I'm going to say. Oh, well, now we're not going to go back into history because there's a lot of stuff that we can talk about uh, in history. What happened with the situation uh, with the occupation of of Israel? I mean, of the uh, Israel over to, to the Gaza Strip and things like that. We can talk about that, but. But we're not going to talk about that history. We're going to talk about what happened, what specifically happened. And what specifically happened is that they, the, 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 the Gaza Strip, the, uh, the uh, Palestine, they bombed a, a, a not looking Israel. Okay? So that's the situation that we have. That's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm looking at. So if you're telling me that I come to you and I punch you in the face, even though I know that you, you know you 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 have two options. You have two options. You have option well probably three or four options. But option A is are you going to attack me back, or B I'm not going to do that. That that's 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 the options. And not only, you know, did they attack Israel, but they killed a lot of people. A lot of people perished, including women and children, elderly people, Holocaust survivors. And after that, they started kidnapping people. So should there be a response from Israel. Yes. Yes. I'm not even mad at the situation with them, you know, uh, 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 retaliating. But here's the thing. They should retaliate against Hamas. Not the, not the, not, no, not the innocent people. So when we hear that, you know, Israel has, has cut off food supply, water supply, electricity, things like that, it, 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 it sucks because you know, they're putting everybody in the same basket and it shouldn't be like that, you know. Uh, and and I, I think that uh, Bill Maher said it perfectly, you know, don't do what America did right after 9-11 when we retaliated over a, a country that didn't even attack us. So, you know, so, I mean, be considerate um, and, and, you know, like I said, I do not uh, uh, personally support the country Israel, but I do support the, the 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 Israelis or whatnot. You know, much love to them, much love to their families, um, uh, just positive healing energy on that side. But I also have positive and and healing energy on the other side 
uh, where uh, it is just getting really bad over there as well. Uh, once again, I, I can't be mad at what uh, Israel has done uh, when it comes to trying to uh, erase uh, this horrible organization, this terrorist group of Hamas. You know, I mean, you have this group that are that's there and there, and you have innocent people who don't even like Hamas or whatnot. So it's just it's just a lot of stuff. But you know, that's just my opinion on it. Uh, in the comments, what do you think? What do you think? But anyway, uh, thank you so much for that question. Very very great question or whatnot. Uh, Dragon Hunter XD, I think that was a great question. Uh, but we have the last question, very last question. That's gonna be Mr. Greenhead. Um. How you doing, Mr. Greenhead? Uh, do you think that the on-screen general manager angle will become stale like last time? Um, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of throw it in the air and let's see where it falls type of situation because I did like the situation with uh, Eric Bischoff and Stephanie McMahon, the, hands down. I thought that was really good. I also liked uh, the Daniel Bryant and uh, Mick Foley situation. I thought that was pretty good. Um, so I, I want to see what they do. I want to see if it's any creative, any fun. You do have two people that I truly do enjoy. Uh, Nick Aldis over there on the SmackDown side. And you have um, uh, Adam Pearce on the Raw side. I truly think that that would be a great addition to what's going to happen, especially with Nick Aldis just a uh, sculling uh, they, uh, uh, Dominic on uh, <laughs> the man. I think I put that on my X page, uh, which was funny. But I truly think that um, um, this would be probably a um, interesting thing. And once again, I want to see uh, more uh, and. After that, you know, you can send me probably another question uh, within, you know, six months to let me know, hey, uh, what do you think? <laughs> That's the only thing I could possibly think of. Uh, but uh, thank you so much for that question. Thank you so much for that question. Now, if you want to get your questions answered or whatnot, uh, you can uh, bring in your questions. You can send your questions in. I do not mind. Um, <laughs> I send that feed out on my community tab on 10 o'clock on Sunday, all right? Uh, so you can always get your questions in, and I promise you, your boy will uh, respond. I will respond. That's usually what I do. I respond. I enjoy. I enjoy you guys or whatnot. This is for you. These shows are for you. So I enjoy doing them. I really do. Um, I mean, I mean, just like I said, you can talk about uh, anything that consists of politics, Um I love politics. You can talk about, um, we had a, a Marvel, do we have a couple of Marvel uh, questions? We had a lot of stuff here other than that. Yes, the wrestling is the main priority and whatnot, so I would like more uh, wrestling questions than anything, but if you want to talk about anything else, talk about it. I do not mind. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow, don't forget, I will have my gripe question. You have until today to get your gripes in. I do not mind. I enjoy doing that show. It's a very fun show. So if you have an issue with anything that consists of pop culture, politics, wrestling, uh, tech, uh, me, I mean, you can talk about me. I do not mind, okay? So enjoy, enjoy, have a great time or whatnot. Once again, to like, share, and subscribe. You guys, like, share, and subscribe. We're on the road to 300. On the road to 300. I think we're at 266 right now. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so, and what else? Um, I'm just I'm just babbling now. I'm just babbling now. Uh, um, go to the information tab. Google me. I'm all over the place. I'm I'm just having a great time, you guys. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Uh, I know this one's a little botchy or whatnot. Um, I am literally coming from the gym, taking a shower, coming in and doing this. I am truly, truly getting in when it comes to the gym. Uh, I, I go almost every single day. So I if if I if it sounds like I'm in pain, I'm probably in pain. 
All right. Um, the, but the best is truly yet to come, you guys. Until next time. Until next time. Love, peace, and of course, of course, of course, of course, of course, wrestling.